Well, here it is, the last time I'm going to be in the post-to-post -post studio, if you want to call it that. Uh, that's the chair I always sit in for every single post-to-post -post video. So sitting in the seat here, the seat I always sit in, I wonder what it's going to be like to actually sit at the T-Mobile Arena, experiencing everything. Well, I can't, I can't wait to go there. I'm about to head for the airport now, but first, let's see what I packed. Let's start off with the most important thing. Jersey. All packed, ready to go. Hmm. Which way is Vegas? I had to creep on you from from the distance. How you doing, What's man? What's up? How's it going? Good, good, good. Day two of the trip. We got to Vegas last night. It was late. It was probably close to midnight. Didn't really feel like filming. Thought we'd just come to the room. By we, I'm talking about Tea Park. He's in the shower right now. Thought we'd come to the room, just relax, watch some TV, get a snack, and then head to bed. It is early. It is, what time is it? It is 7.32 in the morning. We're about to head down to get some breakfast. I'm looking out a window at gorgeous mountains. The hotels start just off to my right outside my window. It is absolutely beautiful here. I'm so excited to hit the city. I think we're gonna go have breakfast first, but I wanna show you this view before I do anything else. I gotta show you this view. So we're on our way to the New York, New York Hotel. I just got off the shuttle. It's it's hot, but it's not too hot. It's not it's not like back home hot in the summertime because it gets really humid and just crazy sweaty there and stuff. It's more like straight sun heat here, which is nice. I can handle that. Uh, but it's it's amazing. Like look at this walk. Sports Arena, that's it. We got that here. Wow. Wow. So we just got to our hotel, we're staying in the New York, New York Hotel. We're in the Chrysler building, uh, our Chry Chrysler wing of the hotel, which does look like the Chrysler building in New York, but I wanted to show you the view and what I have set up here. We're about to go eat, the game's later on tonight, but I gotta show you this view, and I gotta show you the plans I have to do some time lapses, which hopefully you'll see soon. But check this out. I mean, come on. Yeah, the window's dirty. Nothing I can do about that. But, 
I have this camera set up here to do a time lapse zoomed in uh, basically on this area. It'll look something like this. And this will run for, or this will run for about five hours. And then I have this over here, which will run for about the same amount of time doing a wide shot like this. So hopefully, hopefully, we'll get two time lapses of the same time, if that makes sense. But anyways, we're about to go eat. Want to say hello, T-Park? What's good? We're going to go to the Shake Shack. Don't say it, because I'm going to say it wrong. Shake and Bake, Shake Shack, shake whatever. Shake Shack. Shake Shack, yeah. Yeah.
the Kings. Chapter 2 One Night Feasted on Shock.
We just got back from the game. It was absolutely crazy. We met some amazing people, and it was just just a, a crazy day in general. It it we went to so many places. We saw so many new things. The people were so nice everywhere we went. People held doors for us. People said thank you. Uh, I, I felt like I was back home in Canada. To, to be honest, everyone's so polite and stuff. Uh, really cool to see. I've definitely fallen a bit in love with this city, and uh, it was just just amazing. So we're obviously very tired now. It was a long, long day, but I just thought, T. Parker, can you give me your thoughts on uh, on today? Is right. No, nothing I can say that Neil didn't just say. But the people, the atmosphere, the energy—it's so organic, and getting to actually see it and not just hear about it um, definitely changes my perspective. Well, it doesn't change it, but. It's super enhanced now. Like the people here, you guys have something amazing going on. I noticed during the game that they were complimenting uh, Winnipeg on their good plays, and they didn't just yeah. cheer when everyone else cheered. They they actually understood the game, and because there's a lot of cities, I, like L.A. a little bit when I, when they first started playing hockey, people didn't know what to cheer for or cheer, like if there was a penalty, people were confused and stuff like that, right. and. There's not, there's none of that here. Like they have taken the time to learn the rules. They love the game, and uh, it's really cool to see. I, I didn't feel like I was in Las Vegas. I felt like I was back home in Canada. Um, so it was, it was awesome. It was for sure special, especially considering Vegas is known for one thing. You know, casinos, gambling, partying, it's, excess. It's got a bit of a stigma. It does. But then you, you enter that plaza, and it's, it's a whole new world. People are obsessed with hockey, like genuinely. Yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing. We met some awesome people today. Shout out to uh, Nick for helping me with the hotel. Shout out to Rob and, and Bobby for meeting us and taking us around. Um, Evan for coming out to, to meet up. Uh, Chris for hooking us up with the tickets. And Bruce at the arena, we said hello to. Um, thank you so much, guys. We really appreciate it. And we're going to meet lots of people tomorrow as well. And uh, hopefully at the practice. I think the yeah, plan yep. is to go to the practice. practice. And then Friday, we're going to hopefully be outside for the outdoor game. Meet lots of people there too. Can't wait. So excited. And we'll see you then. Adios. Thank you.